guys what's up this is Nainia from Tech Barrack Solutions and today I will be talking about Apple Music and I'll be reviewing it so what uh, intrigued me to even review Apple Music at first I wasn't interested in Apple Music at all but then some fine day there was some discussion which I had with a couple of people and I got really intrigued to use it so I decided to review it so here I am reviewing the Apple Music service so let's get on with the music, right? Whether it is your iOS device or the iTunes app on PC or laptop, Apple Music asks the user to choose what genre or type of music he or she likes. Each option is provided in bubble form. The moment you click the bubble, its size enlarges, indicating that you like it more than other categories. Once the genre is selected, it also asks the user to choose the artist he or she likes in a similar way. This could be musicians, singers, actors, actresses, etc. Based on what we choose, Apple Music will generate playlists for us in the For You section. At first, these playlists are very limited and won't be highly accurate, but as and when you start listening to more songs, Apple Music provides more options in the For You section. Apart from this, Apple Music gathers information about your choice from your offline library in iTunes if you have enabled Genius Recommendations and iCloud Music Library. Songs or albums can be easily favorited and shared through social media. The new section allows the user to browse latest music by genre. Currently, I have selected the Bollywood genre, hence you can see a lot of Bollywood songs Users can check out top songs and also they can check out playlists generated by Apple editors. These playlists can be followed too and if you follow any one of these playlists, then Apple will push these playlists to your For You section. The most awesome aspect of Apple Music is the Connect feature. Here users can follow artists they like. The artists can upload pictures, videos and fans can like, comment or share these content. Good thing is that users don't have to subscribe to the Apple Music service in order to get updates from their artists. Coming back to the iCloud Music Library, once the user enables it, Apple will scan the library and upload each song. Once the song is uploaded, it will be matched with the Apple Music catalog. If it does get matched, then the user will get an option to download the 256 kilobit rate version of the song from the Apple Music catalog itself. The issue is, it will be DRM protected, so you can play that song only on devices where your ID is connected. If the match is not found, then it will offer you a link to your uploaded version. This allows the user to access his or her library from any device, but again, this is not a backup service and it is different from iTunes Match, because iTunes Match provides non-DRM protected songs. Coming to the last and the final section, the Apple Music Radio. It provides several radio stations based on genre. Several genres have different subcategories based radio stations. Apple Music also comes with a live 24 by 7 Beats 1 radio station. Other radio stations are not live. Based on the genres, I still feel there can be more radio stations, especially the Bollywood genre, which has just one category and that's Bollywood. However, I was really impressed with the songs Apple played in the Bollywood radio station. Almost 95% of the songs were the ones that were in my daily listening playlist. That was pretty cool. So, is the Apple Music service good enough? Yes, it is good, but it can be better. There are some good things and some not so good things about the Apple Music service. In the good things, I would say it has got a huge catalogue of songs and very few music streaming services can even compete with this huge catalogue of songs which Apple Music service has. Second good thing is that Apple Music service is being priced at 120 rupees per month in India and 9.99 US dollars per month in the USA. That's like 5 times cheaper than the USA. And I think the cardinal reason for Apple making it cheaper in India was Ghana and Savan which are both providing premium music streaming service just like Apple Music service at a similar cost. Now the next point can be taken as a good point and a not so good point because some people like freemium model and some people like the premium model. In the freemium model, the user gets to listen to music like 
three four songs at a stretch and then the user has to watch an ad or listen to an ad in case of the premium model the user just pays the money and he doesn't have to listen or watch any ad he just he or she can just listen to the music at high quality and apple music service is a premium model and high quality in apple music service is 256 kilobit rate that is really good i wouldn't say it's the best but that is really good and most of the people who listen to offline music don't know what good quality is they just download the music from random sources and they just listen to it so for these guys the premium service is gonna provide them with some real good quality music so for them it is really worth a try but for me personally i already have good music on my good quality music on my pc that's the offline version that i'm talking about so i wouldn't opt for apple music service just for the quality purpose I want something where I can store my music on the cloud and access it from all my devices. I know Apple does provide it through iCloud music library, but it has got some hiccups. Like if I upload my music to the iCloud music library, it is not a backup service. It will match my songs with the ones which are already there in the Apple music service catalog. And if it's there, then I can stream the good high quality. Great. But now if I delete, the offline version of my music and I download the one which is matched with the Apple music then it gives me a DRM version now I don't want a DRM protected version so if I don't want a DRM protected version I have to offer iTunes match now this is pretty complicated for a normal layman so that's why I think it's just not the kind of cloud service that I'm looking for I'm not looking for any matches I just want a cloud service where I can just upload and stream it on any of the device which I have. Something like Google Play All Music Access. But unfortunately, that's not available in my country. So I will have to wait for that. But that's something that I'm looking for. Now coming to the last argument, that's the radio stations. In the radio stations, Apple Music Service does provide quite a number of radio stations. But... Uh, I'll talk from the Indian perspective. There are a number of languages in India and because of that we have got different types of music in India which is like all amazing types. And uh, just having a Bollywood radio station in the Apple Music service does not do justice to the Indian music. And even in Bollywood music we don't have, I didn't listen, I couldn't listen to any old songs. I could just listen to the latest songs. So for those who listen to old songs the Bollywood radio station might not be enough. And at this exact very point, I would say Ghana.com wins by a big margin because it provides way, way more number of radio stations in the Indian, uh, Indian music as well as the different types of music in different languages. So for those who really like Indian music, they would enjoy Ghana radio stations more than the Apple Music service radio stations. But yes, Apple Music Service does provide one awesome thing and that's the Beats 1 24 by 7 live radio station. Again, that's my own personal review and my personal viewpoint. Let me know what you think about this video and my review by rating, commenting and subscribing to the channel and also visiting techbarrack.com.